Good evening. Hello, good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, Kelia, Lisette. Good evening. How are you tonight? So fine, teacher. And you? Fine, How are teacher. you? I'm fine too. Thank you for asking me. What was your day today? ¿Cómo estuvo el día hoy? It was great. It was busy. It was easy. Relax. How was your day? With a lot of job. With a lot of work. Ah, okay, excellent. You have a lot of job. Then it was busy. You had a busy day. Busy is like ocupado. Yes, that is busy, muy ocupado. Very busy, muy ocupado. Busy, ocupado. Teacher, I have a question. My day is relaxed. Okay, excellent. You are on vacation, so you have a relaxing day. Nice. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Kelly. Um, Good evening. And the same, uh, Lisette. Uh, I'm relaxed because I am vacation. Okay, that sounds good. Nice. So you are at home and you are resting. I hope you are resting a lot. At the home, there is a lot of work too. There are many things to do at home. So what about the platform? Do you have any question about that tonight? No the, question, teacher. No, no question. question. Uh, me today advanced uh, for unit. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you, Kelly. So keep working on that, please. We are going to finish next Thursday and before the day, you have to finish that. Antes de ese día, ¿verdad? antes de la última clase, tiene que estar lista la plataforma. With 80%, el 80% es la nota mínima, right? So don't forget about that. Keep working on the platform exercises. Section five and the final test. So the final test, it's so important. It is the 30% of the grade, of the final score. Right? El examen final es el 40% de la nota final. So it is important that you take the final test. Hello, Patty. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? How are you tonight? Mm, today is good. Today uh, was, was better. <laughs> uh, today was a good day. Excellent. So Angelica, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Francisco. Good evening. Welcome. So where are your classmates? Is there a match tonight on the television? There is a soccer match or something like that? Yes, this, this day I played Real Madrid versus Shakta and also played PSG versus played, sorry, played PSG versus I don't know, I, I don't remember what is the order. RB Lacing. RB good Lacing. evening, all. Hello, Manuel, good evening. So good probably evening. they are very watching the, the scores of every match tonight. 
So good evening to everyone. Welcome again to this class. Uh, yesterday we were talking about was and where questions. Question with was and where. And tonight we are going to continue talking about questions, but we are going to have a review of the simple past. Question with did, question with, with was, and question with where. Information question. We are going to study that tonight. So let's start. If you don't have any question about the platform, about the final test, tomorrow we are going to introduce the final test for you to know it. And then we're going to have a review in the last class. But tonight we are going to study this topic. Let me share my screen with you. And please let me know when you can see it. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. So just a second. So what is it? Okay, here we go. This is the topic for tonight, WH question with did, was, and also where. So welcome to your class number 14. And let's start with this topic tonight. Okay, I'm going to show you a picture and tell me what did she do this morning? So look at her. What did she do this morning? Can you tell me some sentences in past? What did she do this morning? She slept. Ah, okay, she slept. Ah, right now she's sleeping. Ella está durmiendo. Pero por qué estará tan cansada? ¿Qué habrá hecho esta mañana? What did she do this morning? She has she exercise. exercise. She does. She does exercise. exercise. Okay. She, she did exercise. Okay, she did exercise. Any other option? Let she did work all day. Oh, she worked the whole day. She worked the whole day. Ella trabajó todo el día. Probably. She didn't sleep, sleep oh, uh, she, all night. She didn't sleep well last night. And that's another possibility. She didn't sleep well at night last night. No she is running this morning. Oh, she ran. She ran. She ran. She ran this morning. So let's see. I have some option here for you. The first one, she did exercise for two hours. So you guessed that one. Alguien dijo esa. Perfect. So I have another option here. She ran. As Manuel says, she ran 10 kilometers. Corrió 10 kilómetros. She did aerobics. Ella hizo aeróbicos y she played soccer. So I have these options. I volunteer to read the sentences, please. Me. Thank she you, Kelly. She did exercise for two hours. She ran 10 kilometer, kilometer. She did aerobics. She played soccer. Thanks a lot. Puede pronunciar kilómetros, por favor. Oh, kilometers. Kilometers. She ran 10 kilometers. So, cuando la T está en medio de dos vocales, like this one, it sounds like a like soft R. Kilometers. That's the reason we say kilometers and no kilometers. Any other question in this part? 
15. Let's go with the next one. What did he do last night? So look at him. What did he do last night? She studied. Is she or he? He. Okay. He did study. He studied. Excellent. He studied. He went to a party. Oh, he went to a party. And now he had a lot of homework to do. Okay, he has a lot of homework to do. He went to a party. Excellent sentence. He didn't sleep. He Good. didn't sleep well last night. No durmió bien la noche anterior. Any other? He worked all night. He worked the whole night. He worked the last night. He worked last night, probably. So let's see. I have some options. He, he did play video games. Oh, he yeah. played. <laughs> he all played night. video games all the night. So he played video games. The God of War says. Ah, God of War. Okay. That is an interesting game. So let's see. I have this option for you. He studied the whole night. He read two books last night. He did homework last night. And he wrote a report. So I volunteer to practice this conversation, please. Who want to practice at this time? Me, teacher. Thank you. You can start, please. He studied the whole night, whole night. He read two, book, two books last night. He did homework last night. He wrote a report. Thanks a lot. Now let's see the next picture. What did they do did last you? night? Yes. Do you have a question? Sorry, the meaning of go, go, go hold. The hold. Todo. Toda la noche. La noche completa. He studied the whole night. Toda la noche. Mm, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Any other question? The same all the night. Oh, yes. The difference is this. The article, he studied the whole night. He studied all the night. Si utilizamos all, mm -hmm. esta palabra va a ir después. All the night. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your question. Let's see what did they do last night. ¿Qué hicieron ellas la noche anterior? They had a party. Thanks a lot. They had a party. That is a nice sentence. They had a party. They, she celebrate. They celebrated what? A birthday? Your birthday? birthday? Maybe. Their birthday. Okay. New Excellent. Year. Oh, New Year's Eve, probably. Any other sentence? They went to a Halloween party. They went to a Halloween party. Okay. They went to a Halloween party. Yes, that could be. Any other sentence? Then let me show you some sentences that I wrote here for you. Let's see the first one. They went to a party last night. They danced a lot. They ate delicious food. They drank wine and champagne. Cham they were really happy. They enjoyed the night. They toasted with their friends. So what is the meaning of toasted? The meaning of that is brindar. Ah, mm. okay. Thanks. Any other question? No more questions. So I volunteer to read the sentences, please. Who wants to read them? Me, teacher. 
the ends a lot. So, vamos a ver. Um, ¿Les parece si la primera persona que dijo me, las primeras cuatro y después las tres? Ok. Thank you. Me, Soeida. They went to a party last night. They danced a lot. They ate a delicious food. They drank wine and champagne. They were really happy. They enjoyed the night. They talked with their friends. Thanks a lot. So in this example, we had fun. We can find we can find some regular and also irregular verbs. So let's see, for example, when is it regular or irregular? Irregular. Irregular. It's an irregular verb, yes. What about things? Regular. It's a regular. Eight. Irregular. Drunk. Irregular. Irregular. The next one, where? Irregular. It's an irregular verb too. Enjoyed. Regular. And the last one, toasted. Regular. regular. It's a regular verse. Very good. Excellent. So let's see. Tonight we're going to learn some expression that we use to talk in past tense. So look at this expression. Let's see, for example, we say last night. What did he do last night? So it means la noche anterior. What about last week? Last month? Last weekend? Last Sunday? And you can also say last year, el año pasado. Sería last week, la semana pasada. Last month, el mes pasado. Last weekend, el fin de semana pasado. Last Sunday, el domingo pasado. en last night, la noche pasada. We also can use yesterday. Yesterday, pero ayer a qué horas? So you can add this, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, yesterday night. And also we can use this, the day before yesterday. Para decir antier, the day before yesterday. We also can use this other expression using ago, 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, three days ago. A week ago, a month ago, a year ago. If we want to say time in past, we can use this expression. Cuando sucedió el evento? And you say, I ate pupusas last weekend. I drank milk yesterday. I bought a car last year. Compré un carro el año pasado. And so, let's see, I told a light an hour ago. Dije una mentira hace una hora. I washed the dog three days ago. Bañé el perro hace tres días. And in this way, we're using this. So, we can also use the years, right? You can also in 1980, in March, or in Monday. We can use this expression too. In, con años, ¿verdad? And also with month. And we're going to use on with the days of the week. So keep in mind this and we're going to have a practice. So we have, who wants to read this last? Who wants to read this expression? A volunteer, please, to practice at this time. Who wants to practice? Last Me, week, teacher. last month, last weekend, last Sunday, last night. Thanks a lot. What about the expression using yesterday? Me, teacher. Thank you, KD. Yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, yesterday night. The, the, the day before yesterday. Thanks a lot. Excellent job. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Heidi. And what about the expression using ago? Me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. 
10 minutes ago, mm -hmm. an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And the other phrases are in, plus a year, in, plus a month, and on, plus a day of the week. So let's see the next one. We are going to practice in the next slide. Okay, when was the last time you? Cuando fue la última vez que usted? When was the last time you visited a friend? Who wants to answer this question? When was the last time you visited a friend? I visit, visit uh, my friends the last weekend. Okay, excellent. I visited my friend last weekend. El fin de semana pasado. Excellent. When was the last time you took a shower? When I took was... a shower this morning. Okay, excellent. I took a shower this morning. Excellent answer too. Next one, who wants to answer this? When was the last time you cooked a cake or a pizza? I cooked you a cake or a pizza last year. Last year, okay, excellent. Let's see the next one, number four. When was the last time you drank coffee? I drank coffee this morning. Excellent. I drank, drank coffee 10 minutes ago. Yes, those are good answers. Thank you. Let's see number five. When was the last time you ate spaghetti? I spaghetti. When I yeah. Get off, give the last box. Um, I didn't understand. Can you please repeat? When the Yidbu Keller get off the last box. It ah, box. okay. When the, the president gave us the last box with food. Ah, yes. okay. Okay, that was the last time you ate spaghetti. <laughs> nice. Uh, those boxes had a lot of spaghetti, right? Like five or six bags of spaghetti. A package, package of spaghetti. So let's see the next one. When was the last time you cleaned your bedroom? I cleaned my bedroom last weekend. Excellent answer. I cleaned my bedroom last weekend. Thank you. Let's see the next one. When was the last time you laughed really hard that made you cry? Do you remember that? Cuando fue la última vez que se rió tanto que hasta lloró? I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember? No. <laughs> no. Okay, thank you, Mario. I laughed really hard. Uh, Three days ago, with a uh, uh, what? What do you say? Canal the YouTube. In YouTube channel. YouTube channel. In the YouTube channel, te lo resumo así nomás. Ah, <laughs> okay. That is, is that the is name. the name. That is the channel. name. Okay. That is the name. Te lo resumo así nomás. Oh, Very okay. funny. Uh, is the is describe the movies. A su estilo. Ah, okay. It described the movie using their own style. Okay, nice. Let's see the next one. Thank you, Manuel. Excellent answer. Thanks a lot. Let's see this one. When was the last time you helped somebody? When was the last time you helped somebody?
I helped uh, yesterday. I helped somebody yesterday. Excellent answer. Any other answer? When was the last time you helped somebody? Let's see the next one then. When was the last time you had a tooth age? When was the last time you had a tooth age? Really? No han tenido dolor de dientes? Never? I had a tooth age last year. Thank you, Hazel. I had a tooth age last year. Thanks a lot. Any other answer? When was the last time you had a tooth age? Had a tooth age uh, last, last, last year. Last year. Okay, excellent. Let's see the next one. When was the last time you said I love you to someone? I say I love you to my son this morning. Excellent answer. I said I love you to my son this morning. Perfect answer. Thank you very much. Any other answer? When was the last time you said I love you to someone? I say I love you, my son, 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see the next one. When was the last time you cut your hair? I cut my hair I could. yesterday. Thank you. I cut my hair last month. Excellent. Okay. Any other answer? I cut my hair 15 days ago. 15 years, 15 days ago. Okay, 15 years. Days ago, days ago. Days ago. Okay, 15 days ago. Excellent. Let's see the next. When was the last time you went to dance? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que se fue a bailar? I went to dance in January. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I went to dance party Christmas. Oh, I... I... I went to dance uh, last year. Last year. Okay, excellent. So I went to dance last Christmas. I went to dance last year. Excellent. Let's see. Um, ah, that was the last one. So we're going to have a practice. Manuel, can you choose one of your classmates, please? Manuel, choose one Hello, of your teacher. classmates. Repeat, 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 please. Choose one of your classmates, please. Mm. Let me see. Francisco? Okay, now choose a question and ask to Francisco, please. Okay, Francisco, uh, when was the last time you drank coffee? I drink coffee in this moment. Oh, you say, I am drinking coffee at this moment. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Francisco, choose one of your classmates and ask a question, please. Um, Heidi. Heidi, Vanessa. Okay. Hi. What, is, what is the question, Francisco? Uh, the six went to dance. 
Oh, when was the last time you went to dance? Ask the question, please, Francisco. When was? <laughs> when, uh, when was you went to dance? I went to dance last Christmas. Okay, perfect. Now, Heidi, choose the last one. Escoja el último de sus compañeros que va a participar en este ejercicio. Okay. Mm -mm. Kayla. So, what's okay. the question? It's Kelly. Miss Kelly. When was the last time you cooked a cake or a pizza? I didn't cook a cake or pizza. Okay, excellent answer. I didn't cook a cake or a pizza. No cocine eso. Okay, excellent, excellent answer. Thank you very much. Then let's go with the next. Look at this conversation. And it says, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, mm -hmm. what do you think of her look? ¿Qué piensa usted del look de ella? ¿Le quedó bien ese peinado? This is Modern. crazy. It's ah. an electric haircut. <laughs> ah, yeah. It's, it's very cool. It's very cool, right? So, he, he's talented. Pick right? it to He's <laughs> talented. He's talented. So, let's see. A uh, question in past, can you ident identify some question in this conversation? Which are Where some questions? Where did you grow up? Thank you. Where did you grow up is when? Any other? What was? What was your major? Yes. When did you come to Los Angeles? Excellent. When did you come to Los Angeles? What do you think? Uh, let's see. What do you think? Oh, this is in present. This is not in past. Okay. It's in present, but thank Why you. Why did you friend. become a hairstyle? Yes, that is the other equation in past. Why did you become a hairstylist? So in the first one, where is asking for a place, right? Where did you grow up? Donde creciste? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? This is another one. What was your major? Drama, I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, mm, so look at this. These are information question with the verb be and also with other verbs. So two volunteers to practice this small conversation, please. Who wants to try? But before to that. Lisette and Manuel, thanks a lot. Yes, Lisette. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, what is your question? Uh, what mean major? Major is la carrera que está estudiando en la universidad. That is a major. Y cuando ya trabaja de eso, deja de ser una major y se okay. convierte en Career. Okay. So who wants to practice Manuel and Manuel and uh, me. We did me. Thank you. 
Thank you, Kelia. So, Manuel and Kelia. So, Kelia, you are oh, Melissa. Oh. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your mayor? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... it's rear. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Very a pick at your tail. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little weird. So it's a, a, a. Teníamos otra voluntaria, era Mónica, right? Mónica and. ¿Quién más quiere participar? Do you want to participate and practice in this conversation? Me, Monica. Thank you, Heidi. So, Monica and Heidi. Monica, you are going to be Melissa, and Heidi, you are going to be Chuck. Okay. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1999, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? Hair because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you do? What do you think? Well, mm. excellent job. So, thank you. Thank you, Lisette. Thank you, Manuel, Kelia, and Monica, too. Thanks a lot. So let's see in this part. Do you have any question about vocabulary in this conversation? Yes, this word is interesting. Interesting. Money. Money. So no more question in this part. Let's continue then. So let's see the next. These are some examples of WH question we did, was, and also where. So where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was your college? It was great. So now the first question is, in which city did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Donde creció? And the answer is, I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? Cuando llegó a Los Angeles. I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Now let me ask you, where did you grow up? ¿Dónde creció usted? In which city? Who wants to answer this question? I, I grew, grew up in Soyapango. Thank you. Any other answer? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Chachuapa. 
Excellent. Thank you. Any other answer? I grew up in a popa. Excellent. Now, how do you move? ¿Quién se ha mudado del lugar de donde creció? I. Then, Heidi, when did you come to that place? ¿Cuándo se, movió, se mudó a ese lugar? And you say, I came, the name of the city, and the year. I came to 10 years. Uh, okay, but what is the name of the place I came to? I came, I came to Soyapango. In? Y el año en que usted llegó a Soyapan. Say one, just 2000. an example. I will say 2011. I came to Soyapango in 2011. 2011. Excellent. So let's see. Uh, the next one is asking for a reason. Why did you become a hairstylist? Let's see, Manuel, for example, why did you become a chef? Mm, because I excited the career. Okay, because I was excited about that career. Excellent. And what do you say, me gusta servir a los demás? Because I, I like it. I, I, I love I like, I love, I really like, I enjoy. I enjoy serve the everyone or somebody. Ah, okay, and you say everybody or everyone? Everyone, okay. Because I needed the ah. university and work. Ah, okay, because I need to go to college and work at the same time. Okay, so let's continue. How old were you in 1990? Okay, who wants to answer this question? How old were you in 1990? ¿Qué edad tenía en los 90, en 1990? No había nacido, teacher. Ah, okay. I was. I, I, I wasn't, was I wasn't I was born. I wasn't born. I was born. Five years. Oh, you say, I was five years. I was three years. I was three years. I was two years. I was two years. I was two years. I wasn't born. Yo no había nacido. I wasn't. I wasn't born. I wasn't born. Excellent. So what was your major in college? What was your major in college? ¿Cuál era su carrera en la universidad? It was accounting. It was accountant. It was accountant. It was an engineer. It was engineering. Okay. I was accountant. It was. It was accountant. It was. It was business administration. It was business administration. Excellent. It was business administration. It was business administration too. Perfect. So how was college? How was your experience at college? How was college for you? It was excellent. It was excellent. Very good answer. It was excellent. Any other answer? 
I was, it was excellent. very interesting. It was interesting. Thank you. It was very hard. It was very hard. Any other answer? Okay, then let's see the next one. To make a question with regular and irregular verb, we are going to use WH word, did, subject, verb in present, verb in present, plus complement, plus the question mark. Let's see this example. Why did you eat my dinner? So WH word, why, auxiliary did, subject, you, verb in present, it, complement, my dinner, and the question mark. So, why did you eat my dinner? ¿Por qué te comiste mi cena? Because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Porque se miraba delicioso y yo estaba hambriento. So, ya habíamos estudiado esta estructura antes. W's word, did, subject, but in present, Let's complement, let's question mark. How to make question with the verb be? In past, of course. So WH word, was, or word, plus subject, plus complement, plus the question mark. What was your favorite subject at high school? WH word, was your favorite subject? This is the subject and complement at high school plus the question mark. My favorite subject was French. Mi materia favorita era francés. Now in your case, eh, what was your favorite subject at high school? My favorite subject was mathematics. Thank you, Jonathan. Any My other? favorite subject was English. Thank you, Lisette. My, My favorite, favorite sub subject was mathematics. Thank you, Mario. The last answer, anyone? My favorite subject is uh, electronic. Uh, in this case, it's in past, was. Was, was electronic. electronic. Was Thank electronic. you very much. So let's look at the next thing here. Okay, I'm a volunteer, please, to participate in the first. I have here some small chart with question. Did so, you send any emails one hour ago? Okay, thank you. That is the first question. But I need a volunteer to answer these three questions. Who wants to participate? No, I didn't. Thank you, Jonathan. Did you send any mails one hour ago? You say, no, I didn't. The next question is, did you chat online yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. And then last question in this small chart is, did you watch any videos on the internet yesterday? I did. No, yes, I, I didn't. Okay, let's see. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, excellent. Now I need one volunteer for the next one, for the next three questions. Who wants to answer them? Me, teacher. Oh. Thank you, Jonathan. So let's see the next question are the following. It's about school. The first one, did you have a test yesterday, Jonathan? No, I didn't. Did you get bad grades last week? Mm, yes, I did. Okay, what was your favorite school subject two years ago? Two years ago, my favorite school subject was Mathematic one. Okay, perfect answer. Thanks a lot. You did an excellent job. So let's see a volunteer to answer the next set of four questions. Me, me teacher. 
Thank you, Kelia. Now let's see what are your uh, questions. Oh, it's about vacation. Where did you go on your last vacation? I did vacation on the beach. Okay, then the sentence is, I went to the beach. Okay, I went to the beach. How did you go there? And you say, I, I, I went, went there. I went to the supermarket. No, it says, how did you go there? Como llegó ahí, ¿verdad? Como. Okay. I went there by car, by bus, by motorcycle. I went um, there, it's motorcycle. Okay, by motorcycle. Excellent. What did you do? ¿Qué actividades realizó en la playa? What did you do? I played the volleyball. I played volleyball. Excellent. What did you see? I saw the olas. No sé cómo se dice. In the restaurant. In, in restaurant. Okay. I saw the weights in the restaurant. Excellent. Very, very good answer. Thanks a lot. So I need another volunteer to answer the next set of three questions. Who wants Me to teacher. Participate? Thank you, Manuel. So let's see. Um, reading. Yeah. It's about reading. <laughs> did you read a book last month? Yes, I did. What was it about? Um, I was, no. It was? It was uh, Machia, Prince Machiavelli. Ah, okay. Excellent. The history of Prince Machiavelli. Thank you. Do you like it? Yes. Yes, I did. Why? It's the important book for the 16th century. Okay, excellent answer. Very, very good job. Thank you very much, Manuel. Any volunteer to answer the next set of four questions? Medit. Thank you, Patricia. Let's see, it's about birthday. Where did you celebrate your last birthday? It is asking for a place. Where did you celebrate your last Sorry, birthday? Sorry, teacher, I don't order. I did my murder. I did celebrate my birthday in the beach. Ah, okay, excellent. So you say, I celebrated my birthday at the beach. How many friends did you invite? No. How many friends did you invite? I, I invite eight, okay. eight I, friends. Excellent, I invited eight friends. What present did you get? Okay. What present did you get? I got. Yes, excellent. I got. A car, a motorcycle, money, clothes, shoes. A new cell phone, a new laptop. I got, I got. I guess we lost here.
So any volunteer to answer the next sex of question? Me, teacher. Thank you, Katie. The next one is about shopping. Did you go shopping last week? <laughs> I shop with... Sorry. It's a yes, no question. So you say, yes, I did. Uh -huh. No, I did uh -huh. No, no, I didn't. Okay, excellent. Then, anyway, I can't ask you the next question. So you say, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. So, no, but the next yeah. question was, what did you buy? Did you go shopping alone? How much did you spend? Bueno, mi modo dijo, no, yo no fui. Let's see the mm -hmm. next one. Ah, any volunteer to answer these three questions, please? Yes, I clean my room last Friday. Okay, did you water any plants yesterday? Yes, I watered any plants yesterday. Did you iron yesterday? Yeah, I iron yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay, yes, I ironed yesterday. Thank you. Planchó ayer, yo sé, yes, sí, planché. Next one, any volunteer to ask the next four question, please? Volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. So let's go with the next set of questions. This is gonna be easy. This is a yes, no question. And they are about sport. Did you go jogging in the morning? What is jogging? Trotar. Trotar, ah, uh, no, I didn't. Did you go skiing last winter? Mm, yes, I did. Really? Fue a esquiar el invierno pasado? Ah, sorry, teacher. No, <laughs> no, I didn't. It's no, no snow didn't. in El Salvador. <laughs> ah, yes, you're right. Yes. No, we okay, did you swim last summer? No, I did, but I like swim. Excellent. Did you train yesterday? What is train? Entrenar. Train. train. Um, no, I didn't the Sunday. No, I didn't train the Sundays. The, the, the Mondays. Ah, okay. No, I didn't train on Monday. On, on Mondays. Mondays. On Mondays. Okay, excellent. Thank you. I'm en Isalco here. puede hacer algo similar a esquiar. Ah, uh, uh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Solo que termina raspado hay uno. Foot. The next one is about foot. Who wants to answer this question? Me, Hazel. Thank you, Hazel. Did you drink three cups of coffee yesterday? No, I didn't. I wow. I drank only cup. Oh, only, only one cup. Thanks a lot. Next question. What did you eat two hours ago? I ate eggs with spinach. Okay, Egg, excellent. Eggs with Espinach. Thanks a lot. Did your mom cook yesterday? What is mom? Mommy, mother. Ah, okay. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Excellent. Excellent answer. The last one. Did you eat any fish last week? Yes, I ate any fish. Okay, perfect. Perfect answer. Thank you, Hazel. And the last one is about TV. Who wants to answer this question? Who wants to answer the question? Yes. 
Thank you, Heidi. So did you watch TV yesterday? Yes, I did watch TV. What did you watch? ¿Qué uh, vio en la televisión? Uh, I, I watch my um, favorite uh, picture. I watch my uh, favorite favorite um, movie. Anatomy. Can you please repeat? I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. Grace Anatomy. Oh, Grace Anatomy. Uh, what was it about? Mm, no, no me recuerdo, teacher, about. Ah, ¿de qué se trata la serie? What was it about? Anatomy. Anatomía. Okay, it's about doctor, nurse, hospital. Hospital. Uh, okay, and did you watch it alone? Uh, yes, I did or no, I don't. Vio yes, sola? I did. Vio sola la televisión? Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. Okay, so do you have any question about tonight's class? We have been studying question, as you can see. Yes, no question, and also information question in this set of rounds. So like this one, for example, did you watch TV yesterday? It's a yes, no question. So it's kind of easy. You say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. What did you watch? Now that is an information question. Que vio? Que vio? So look at this other one. Well, do you have any question about tonight class? Questions? No, teacher. No question. Okay. It's clear. Tomorrow we are going to we are going to see the final test, and we are going to continue talking about simple pass. And we're going to make a review of the course topics. So if you don't have any other question, thank you for your punctuality. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. Thanks a lot. And see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye.